Are any of you opposed to the EPA? Like, would you abolish the EPA? I, I would like the EPA reduced to a guy with a, a, one of those pool testers, you know? <laughs> I, you could go from state to state and test the water and say, that's a little dirty, would you clean that up, please, and I'll see you in another year. You know, I'm I, fine I, with that if he has to fly coach. I mean, <laughs> one of the reasons that a lot of conservatives oppose the EPA is not just because of what the EPA does, it's because we oppose regulatory agencies as a general fact of government. Because the executive branch was not designed to be a legislative branch, and the EPA makes right. and promulgates enormous numbers of regulations that nobody understands, nobody gets, and that are then put into force by people who are unelected and can't be gotten rid of. So that makes it an, un, an unsustainable form of government, or at least a non-answerable form of government. The country on Earth that's done the most to innovate, done the most to innovate in terms of fuel efficiency, renewable resources, uh, all the technology that's created modernity is this one. And when the environmental left can come up with some sort of theory for how to fix the environment that doesn't penalize the only engine that I think on this earth has the actual capacity to address any of these problems, which is American ingenuity, uh, then I'll give it a more serious listen. Sure, but would, would you all agree that there is sort of a problem in the Republican Party and that they're not very environmentally conscious? No. No. I, uh, you know, I think that the problem is, is that every story that you hear on the news is two stories. One is the story, and one is why leftism will solve the problem. Nobody wants to say... Nobody wants to say there's no environmental problems, we don't want to protect the environment, but the answer from the left is always more government, always more power, yep. always more centralized power. You know, and the EPA at this point, you know, not only, not only do they pass laws, but when you appeal them, you have to appeal to the EPA. Mm -hmm. So they can basically, under Obama, they could basically show up at your house and declare your sink a waterway and start telling you how to shave. And I actually disagree with you guys slightly in the sense that I do think that both parties talk past the point with regard to environmentalism. I think there's a reactionary thing that's been happening on both sides, where if I say that I think that the world is warming, which I do, and I think that most of that is human caused, which I do, but my solution is not massive government intervention, which I also do. The left calls me a global warming denier, and the right suggests that I'm falling for the greatest hoax in the history of mankind. Uh, and I think that it's, it's possible to have conversations at a level of policy without castigating the other side as either completely scientifically ignorant or as deeply, you know, attempting to destroy all forms of human freedom, but it's not as much fun. Mm -hmm.